Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Grad, where we help you make wiser and smarter study abroad decisions. So if you are someone who has completed a B.Tech in Computer Science, Bachelor's of Computer Applications, or you are basically from the tech or the IT background, and now you are looking forward to pursuing a master's degree in the UK, I'm confused that which master's degree is going to help me in building a solid tech career in the UK, then this video is for you. So I'm going to list down three master's degrees that you should definitely consider looking at the number of entry level job opportunities, looking at the long term career prospects and third, looking at how the tech job market in the UK actually operates. So let's begin. All right, so the very first master's is actually going to be something related to cybersecurity. So UK and Europe have been the epicenters of a lot of research initiatives and movements related to cybersecurity policy. A lot of technical research might be happening in the US, but UK has been the place where the policy formulation related to cybersecurity has been quite active. So if you're pursuing a program like MSc Cybersecurity Engineering, MSc Cybersecurity Management, Cybersecurity Analysis, you can confidently land yourself a position as a cybersecurity analyst, a cybersecurity consultant, or anything related to that in large as well as small organizations across the UK. And if you will supplement your master's degree with certifications like Certified Ethical Hacker, CCNA Security, CompTIA Security Plus, then you will have an amazing profile which will help you land into one of the graduate cybersecurity positions out of the thousands of them that open every single year. So MSc Cybersecurity or related to cybersecurity is a very good choice to go ahead with. Let's move on to the second. The second master's that I would like to talk about would be the master's in human computer interaction. Now human computer interaction is all about UX designing, UX research and as the name suggests, how the users are interacting with the computer in form of the hardware or the software itself. Every year, startups as well as large organizations hire user experience designers, user experience researchers, junior user experience analysts, etc, etc into their graduate level hirings. Now, if you are someone who is pursuing this master's degree and while pursuing it, building an amazing portfolio that can showcase that yes, you have the right skills, it will be very easy for you to get hired. In fact, one very good thing about this particular domain is that it is very easy to showcase your skills. Many times what happens is, that as a candidate, you might be highly skilled, but your resume is not getting shortlisted for an interview, so you're not really able to present your skills. But in case of UX, human computer interaction, if you have the right creative skills, if you have the right empathy skills and all the other skills that you need to succeed as a human computer interaction designer, you can build an amazing portfolio and the hiring manager can judge your skills just on the basis of your portfolio. So if you're someone who does not like coding, and wants to get into something creative, but still stay, stay into the technological industry, then yes, human computer interaction and UX designing is a very good option for you. Okay, now I will move to the third and the final. The third set of programs would be related to data engineering, data science, and data analytics. Well, it has been many years since an article was published in the Harvard Business Review that data scientist is the sexiest job of the 21st century. And since then, a lot of people have gotten interested into this domain. However, I would like to mention one thing here, like it's a disclaimer for all of you. You should only get into data science, data engineering and data analytics if you're passionate about it. Entry level analyst jobs are oversaturated with hundreds and hundreds of applicants applying for one vacancy. But if you're skilled, if you have the right technical acumen, if you have the right certifications, and if you can showcase a good portfolio of the different sorts of projects that you have built, it will be easy for you to get hired specifically in the UK. So UK has a huge finance and insurance sector. Perhaps it contributes seven to eight percent of the whole GDP of the country itself. So for that reason, these insurance companies, finance companies, they need people who are strong in analysis, data engineering, etc. So if you're someone who's pursuing a master's degree related to data science, data analytics, data engineering, and you have some work experience, a decent portfolio to showcase, finding jobs, and let me mention, finding great well-paying jobs is not going to be that big of a problem. 
So thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to discuss your profile with me, then you can WhatsApp me on the number that is given in the description box, or you can go to our website, click on the book a consultation link and book the consultation at your desired time slot. Thank you very much and follow Sharp Tide for more advice like this. Bye-bye.